Hello Aquarians and cross watchers, welcome to your video. So I've already said my prayers and uh, I want to be the first to tell you guys that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And I want to thank you all for being here and sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you and the divine values you and thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. So uh, I did a pre-shuffle as I always do and I just wanted to show you these cards because it may not uh, come back out again but I will close out with an ancestor card so i didn't channel a song only thing i channeled was shiva and i don't know uh, much about that culture maybe some of you do and um i'm going to put uh two things about shiva in the description box below one is an uh one is um a story about shiva and then the other one is someone explaining it which I'm not sure how to say his name. I watch him. His name is Sag, Sad Guru. So I'm going to put that in which um, he says it just means that which is not. So when I was doing a pre-shuffle, this came out when it comes from the Ancestors deck. And this talks about really that which is not. Okay. Because, uh, or something like that. Anyway, I will put the I will put it down in the description box below. So I believe this is uh, about tuning in and connecting. But then I wanted to make sure it wasn't just a message for myself. Um, you know, just a message for me. And I said, is it for me? I used another tarot deck. Or is it for the people who watch me? And I got this. And this clearly means it's for the people who watch me. So... We're going to do that, <laughs> all right? Uh, so now let me just get into um, pulling a card here from the um, Wisdom of the Oracle. What wants to come out here in this reading? Show me what wants to come out here in this reading. Help me have clarity with this storyline, please. This can also be roles reverse if you're dealing with an Aquarian. We have co-create, and so that would also... That card also um, can talk about co-creating with the universe, right? That which is, which you can't see. All right. Very interesting. Obviously, um, even in his explanation, he talks about the sky, okay? And that which you can't see or what you can see. And this is, you can't see a lot of things, especially this energy is pretty heavy. And then we have co-create. And in the deck, this talks about co-creation. And it, it talks about co-creation with the universe. But you could co-create with another person. But this is ultimately something that you... Um, this is between you and the universe. You and the divine. You and source. All right? And it might not be something you can quite see yet. All right? So this is, I feel, just all about you. Whoever's watching, uh, I feel it's just all about you. And it's about the new you okay it's about the new you so this is very interesting i'm going to be using um the everyday enchantment tarot i'm going to be using the um osho zen deck and if i'm guided to i have the angels deck here which i did a pre-shuffle on those are the the decks that i was guided to but i normally only use tarot decks so we're just going to get into this and see what wants to come out. I'm going to do a Celtic spread here. Like I said, I had already done a pre-shuffle. So show me what needs to come out here. Hope you guys are having a great day, great evening, great morning. Yeah, we have the world. Um, and we have the Seven of Wands. And some of you see what's going on in the world, and some of you don't. I mean, look at all of this. Seven of Wands, that's a lot. Uh, defending. This is defending one's right, um, defending one's family, defending one's legacy, defending one's freedom even. And this talks about, we have the world card here. And I really feel that this is trying to say here um, a bigger picture, a bigger message for us and around the world. Um about our role okay or maybe what our new role is going to be the world card is fixed energy it's aquarius it's scorpio it's taurus it's leo but this talks about all the nations with that card we have all the nations there it talks about cycles opening and closing so i do feel that there is some sort of cycle because there is a process remember 
regeneration is here on the bottom of the deck and for me that's very foreshadowing so there's something that's possibly going to be ending now you might be teaming up with someone else okay somebody who has money somebody who's very stable um somebody here for the long term somebody with earth in their chart taurus virgo capricorn but i have two major arcana here so no matter what the new you involves a new person for some of you okay for some of you and you know i believe that you're not going to be seeing this as well tell me about yeah we have we have here the eight of cups the eight of cups talks about leaving the familiarity of life and going out towards something new so if a sink full of dishes is something you're familiar with it talks about a different life you know that's just a metaphor that's just an analogy because of the picture it's like saying there's more to life than just dishes okay and i'm going to go out and live it i'm not just i'm not going to do the same thing i do every day it's time to get out and do something different but there's two people here it's also a decision it's a decision the lovers gemini energy it is definitely a choice queen of wands and this is getting out this is literally getting out of the house here celebrating life being noticed and i do feel that you will probably be noticed by somebody and you probably like i don't think you're expecting it you somebody with fire in their chart might notice you we have the near future we have strength now on a global more global thing i do notice um you know just all of the you know the fireworks but in the night sky being lit up and you can i can't say all that i want to say on, on this platform but and then you see the fires normally fireworks don't leave fires behind but um other things do and those things are happening in the world right now you might meet somebody um from another part of the world where things are not uh, very good you might meet somebody through work but you and this person are going to do something so you know this card does talk about co-creation but look you can see the pattern i see you joining up with somebody here and somebody who may have stability or money or earth in their chart you guys are aligned and focused on the same things this could be a past life soulmate connection coming in um depending on your age this could be someone you have children with this could be somebody who you know they're thinking of you but it's a it's close to the heart okay and then we have communication and clarity ace of blades so I believe this meant to go this way clarity and communication so something there's something that's coming in that's for the long term now this is a general reading but you do have somebody here and i'm telling you they do have some sort of um, fame wealth or recognition they're a boss they're an owner they're, they they have they have stability okay for sure whoever this person is and the other person doesn't have very much okay the other person doesn't have very much and this person has a lot so literally somebody's in a five of coins and someone's in a ten of coins and the person with the ten of coins is going to team up with the person of the five of coins a person who's in lack and there's something that they're going to create together and they're going to make a difference in this world some kind of way or in their community all right let's clarify now i don't know if i want to use this deck to clarify but i i will but i really feel like i might end up using this one too tell me about the world card 
tell me about the world card. Rebirth. Rebirth. Look at this. So there's definitely something that's ending for some of you so that what is meant to happen, what this co-creation that's meant to happen, whatever you signed up for before you came into this world, you would have signed a, you know, a spiritual contract. You would have said things that you wanted to do, experience, help, learn. That's why things are about ready to shift. Things are about ready to shift. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Whatever your normal routine is, it's about to change for whoever this is going to resonate with. Postponement and the reverse. It's over. Rebirth is here. Postponement is over. Um, Seven of Wands, I feel, is energetic. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. I feel that it's more about energetic because postponement reverse is clarifying that. Some of you might be called to go defend others as well. Some of you might be called to go defend others. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. That's a lot. Okay. Ten of Air. Page of Water. Ace of Air. Okay. This is hard to say, but this isn't everybody's reading either. Some people, their, their children are going to get called to go, um, or called to get go, go to this place of fighting to defend others. And it's going to be hard. Because I see here, I see this... Um, more mature mother, older mother, and the child leaving message comes in. It's hard, but realizing that it's the time. It's time for this. This has to happen. Give me another version. Because that's not everybody's reading. Give me another version, please. If that's the case, you know, some might have um, Aries, Leo, Sag in their chart. doesn't have to be, but I'm more guided to the fireworks. Somebody may return. Someone might already be over there fighting or might be over there doing something in that part of the world and return um, as a hero or a wounded, wounded person. Give me another card for that Seven of Wands. Now, it does talk about a new focus. All right. So, for some of you, that that's not the message of a, of a child, all right, getting called, or, or an actual person. It doesn't have to be a child. It could be someone... Uh, this a brother or sister or someone's married to somebody or something like that but it's like uh, if that's not going to be the case for some of you for some of you this is about a new focus and that's going to cause a rebirth it's going to cause a regeneration a new project and that new project is where you and someone else are going to come together on this okay you and another person are going to be at the front lines on this. This was just too much. But the other two, this was a lot of the other cards that came out. Tell me about the lovers. Okay. 
can't even be a friend, you know. Tell me about the lovers. King of coins and the lovers. Hmm. We have caution here. This card says caution, six of air. Give me another card. King of coins, I want a card. All right, four of earth. So there is somebody who is holding back. All right. Um, this king of coins is being clarified by a knight of earth. It could be somebody who is a Virgo who has wealth. Okay. Or who a Virgo who has grown. Okay. Um, not the same as you knew them before. And there is a cycle. Okay. The world is here. There's something ending and something uh, possibly being reborn here in their life or maybe they want to rebirth things with you come together with you because i do see you going from uh just you to you and another connection okay and this connection could be you know a long-term connection but that could be with even a family member it could be with anybody that long-term connection it could be a person who's a partner for life the thing is somebody's holding back from literally talking to you four of pentacles page of earth in the reverse not sure why give me a card for this something that's like they're trying to figure something out here they're trying to figure something out and here's virgo again and they might be trying to spend some time alone to figure that out whatever it is so for them, they're not ready to come in until they figure something out. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Recent past. This is somebody thinking that, you know, I don't have to stay in this situation. I can move on to my happiness. And that's the King of Earth. So, there is somebody here. Who is thinking about uh, family, thinking about you, thinking about spending time together, and maybe a long time, okay? Um, their action is to come in. They're more stable now, whether it's with money or not, does, you know, but they are more stable. But the king of earth is known to have some sort of abundance, okay? And this is strong Taurus here with king of earth and the hierophant. But this is a person who's saying with these two cards, I'm stable. I know there's a better life and I want to go toward that better life. This is a person here who wasn't clear before, um, who wasn't clear before. And for that, that is what was missing. They weren't clear on something when it comes to you and them. Tell me about the recent past. Yeah, change. So there's a person who's changing, okay? They're releasing something with this suppression reverse, and they're coming and traveling to you. It's an eight of wands, which I have an eight of wands here. So this is a person who is making their way to you. This is a person who is, is there's change, okay? There's change. Now, I don't know what any of that has to do with the word that I mentioned, Shiva. <laughs> I have no clue. But I was told that, uh, that, you know, I will put it there and you can, maybe it means something to you. But this has a lot to do with maybe what this person, there was something when it comes to conditioning or beliefs. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Chariot reverse, ten of air. Chariot is cancer, ten of fire, ace of fire. So this is a person, remember the ten of the ten of swords was here kind of on the side. This is a person who no, this is ten of swords. The ten the um 
oppression card this card this is a ten of wands this is a person when you get to the ten it has to start over and you have to start at the one because you can't someone can't handle the pressure anymore someone just can't go forward anymore they just can't and that's where this ace of fire comes in so this person gets to a point they just can't go forward anymore for whatever reason it's too much and it's hard so things stop so for that that person ends up coming your direction okay they have to release something that's just too hard in their life now if it's a, it's too hard for them being away from you um they're coming in because you know obviously they miss you if this is a person god forbid um i you know i don't want to have to think this way but if this is a person who had to go away to another uh, country where it's very dangerous right now this is a person who returns because they can't that for some reason they can no longer stay there if something happens they can no longer stay there and it's a very hard uh, but they do return okay now obviously that's general there's a lot of people over there but there is someone who is returning um, into your life They were estranged for whatever reason. They were trying to figure something out. It's almost like a loner who just goes off and to be alone because they're really just trying to figure things out, figure out their place in the world, figure out their place in your life, and and like they're just like this is this is a whole rebirth happening. Tell me about strength. We have Aquarius. And eight of air. So this is a person who can't stop thinking about you. Or it's a Leo Aquarius connection. Give me a card for that. Abundance. Yeah. This is a person who has a lot of abundance in this. And there could be somebody um, joining up. Like I said, I do see like somebody who has less than teaming up with someone who has more than, right? someone like that tell me about this eight of coin that's a focus i've seen it here twice already yeah then we have here aquarius um we have aquarius or air teaming up with uh earth taurus virgo capricorn or aquarius libra gemini so we have here literally you might be you know this person might be is you know i have a king and a queen now of earth so someone could be thinking that you are the person to team up with to do this or vice versa you could be thinking they're the person to team up remember all right tell me about this Someone has probably had to build up the courage to say this. And I do see an age difference. You know, it could be an age difference, but now there's somebody who has grown or they're not the same. But here is union, all right? So someone decides. Someone's literally been fighting with themselves about this, uh, this decision. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Okay, one came out, the rest is face down. I'm not taking all that. That's just too much, but I'll look at it. Yeah, integration here, balance. So this person's coming in. This person might have a generous offer for you as well. And you're going to think about it. So this is where you're going to be thinking about, should I stay or should I go? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it could be an offer for uh, working together on a project. Or working together literally so if you're looking for some stability income this is that person okay they know you they definitely know you tell me about the ace of blades or you're that for them okay tell me that we got the high priestess here and the queen of air so you when this when this information comes in reaches you you may not be sure about what to do uh, we have the high priestess in reverse that's okay 
So you don't know. You're in the queen of air about this, okay? You're in your logical mind when this information comes in. Something you become aware of. Um, some Someone might have even broke the silence when it comes to you. But it might be like, okay, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do. And it might, you know, this, we talk about intuition and mind. This might be where you, there's more thinking involved than intuition. So try to ground yourself. Okay, literally try to ground yourself um, if that's your energy, all right? Because Queen of Air is air energy. High Priestess is Virgo, uh, Pisces energy. Tell me about that. But it's a hope and a fear. So maybe you make a decision and you're like, I am hope I'm doing the right thing. Or maybe you're like, should I just move on? Because it's a choice. But we have exhaustion here. Somebody's exhausted. I think somebody literally needs your help. And they're going to offer you money to help them out. Like Aquarius, I just need your help. So. If anybody's watching me. And wants to offer me a big offer. Because you guys are overwhelmed and stressed. Hey. I'm looking for a side hustle. Uh. <laughs> But it could be that, too. It could be somebody coming in with a major offer because they are just exhausted. And you are the right person. They're, you know, you guys, you know, got co-create. Going to co-create something there. So the good news comes in, all right? The house is sold is what that card says. House is sold. So there's good news that comes in. That's here twice. So I have here. This card, Eight of Wands, is travel. This card, it's communication. So either way, take it how you feel you need to. Because like I said, there's somebody who the story is a person's returning home from a dangerous place, okay? And they're going to come in and you're going to see this person, okay? Um, they are going to be exhausted and they, are gonna, they could literally be wounded or they just could be, you know, have gone through a lot. It was rough, okay? But for others of you, this is another. This is just a person who is overwhelmed with something. Um, they're changing, or they need a change. You also need a change. Whatever things are being lined up. And Shiva, from what is like the, I think the unseen is anyway, something like that. And there's that energy of the unseen. So you might not see this. And if I'm wrong, because like I said, I'm not from that culture. And, you know, you guys can correct me all day long and correct whoever's watching. But I will put the explanation that I got in the description box. Three of air. At sorrow and ten of earth is reverse and ace of earth. So somebody might literally need your help because they're having some sort of um heavy burden in their life maybe i didn't see the tower so i don't want to say a crisis but they could be having there could be just somebody really needs your help and they don't know who else to call on but it's not easy with the three of air that's some heavy energy okay for this i mean these three are crying but it all depends on the deck you get but in this deck, it's heavy. It's heavy energy. And someone's literally exhausted. And they just can't do it anymore. And they and it looks like they call out on you. They call to you. It can be roles reversed. But I do see somebody who doesn't have much teaming up with somebody who has more than they do. See, I see a five of pentacles person ending up uh, pairing up with a ten of pentacles person. Anyway, let's close out with an ancestor's card. Um, I believe that the message of the Shiva is that you don't see this. Okay, but there's going to be another story, uh, the story of Shiva that somebody narrates. It's like the story of Shiva where the, that energy dances. Okay, dances is a great dancer. Um, so maybe it's also saying to sort of dance off any heavy energies. And something you may not be aware of is coming in here. Give me a bonus card. We have go with the flow. Let go, rest, and manifest. So on your part, just be your um, 
your natural self because these people here are doing what's very natural to them so I would say do what's very natural to you Aquarius because I don't feel like unless you're the one who's going to ask for someone's help you would also be the one with the money um, you won't see this otherwise all right guys anyway I love you I'll see you in your next reading thank you for tuning in and namaste my friends